On average, the United States reports roughly 1,260 tornado touchdowns per year. 2011 reported 1,691 tornadoes, resulting in 553 fatalities, the deadliest year we've had since 1925. Then, 2012 broke record lows with only 939 tornadoes and 70 fatalities nationwide. 2013 broke that record low with 908 reports and only 55 fatalities. And then there's 2014. The most popular area to chase storms is generally west of Interstate 35 in North Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. Wide open spaces void of trees offer excellent visibility often providing views of tornadoes miles away and ample time to navigate out of their paths. Mississippi, April 28th. An army of high precipitation tornadic supercells were marching side by side at 45 plus miles per hour, wondering what unseen horrors might come crashing through the trees without a second's warning, made pushing forward a stomach nodding nightmare. I really need to be on the other side of this base. Screw this, I'm going around. Holy sh look at that circulation in there. This is a huge black dangerous tornado. People just driving right into it. Look at the circulation. A shrouded violent tornado was ripping through the route I was just contemplating seconds prior and heading for the town of Louisville, where it would kill 10 people and cause substantial damage. Man, I can rid of all this. It's raining debris. This is a large violent tornado. The road is getting littered right now with debris from houses. There's a floor mat of a car. The road is blocked, which means I'm... Oh, Jesus, there's cars that have been tossed. We are now, again, part of the search and assist team. We're sitting on power lines here. Over the next couple weeks, the alley saw many breathtaking storms, this time not in a literal sense. The wrath of Mother Nature had fallen into a slumber and would not awaken until May 11th, Mother's Day. This storm is pissed off. There's that beautiful green, look at that turquoise green color. This ambiguous tornado destroyed multiple homes in Cordova, Nebraska, and eventually struck Beaver Crossing, damaging almost every structure in town. Looks like a gust nato. Pretty fing awesome gust nato. By mid June, Mother Nature had served up fewer tornadoes than in any other season on record. Most of the tornadoes that did occur were non photogenic blobs shrouded in rain or brief spin ups. But that was about to change. Oh my God, is this really happening? Another one right here. Two large tornadoes on the ground. Get some shots of you. Still on the ground, very large tornadoes. This could go on for a while.
have just hot inflow. I should probably move. Only 911. All right, here we go. The day after the historic twin tornado event, another family of violent tornadoes would be born less than 40 miles away. This one is violent. This tornado will destroy several farmhouses, killing livestock. The trees you see here will be debarked and the crops to the left scoured to the bare soil. Oh man, that's roaring. All right, this is my wide angle lens. Super, super tight on this sucker. It has nothing to do with an adrenaline rush, but everything to do with witnessing and understanding. Tornadoes move like something of the living, and our brains aren't able to process something this large and alive. So we stare. Shut up. Just sit there. Skate mover. On my ass. That night, several other tornadoes would find their way to the earth. But it wasn't only the tornadoes that made this storm so memorable. This is incredible. There is constant lightning above me. Relatively small but constant discharges of cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning filled the heavens. tornadoes on the ground. One's on the ground to the left and the other one was on the ground. Moving on. The following day another outbreak of tornadoes occurred mostly in South Dakota. Twenty-five tornadoes touched down including this EF4. Remarkably, there were no fatalities. Over a three-day period, I was able to intercept 16 dramatic tornadoes, four of which were EF4s. And all three evenings showcased otherworldly lightning displays. And just when you think you can finally rest, weather radios scream warnings of the new severe storm about to plow over the sheetrock motel you're lodging in. In 2014, less than 900 tornadoes were reported, causing only 47 fatalities. Despite a warming climate, the last three years have seen a substantial decrease in tornado activity here in the U.S. Make no mistake, weather and climate are two different things. Weather is the conditions of the atmosphere over a short period of time and more likely to be random. Climate is how the atmosphere behaves over relatively long periods of time. With rising global temperatures and added energy to our atmosphere, we could see a long-term increase in violent tornadoes. This doesn't mean the death toll has to increase also. Meteorologists are getting better at predicting storms and warning the public. 
So pay attention to weather warnings and have a plan in the event of severe weather. The warnings aren't saying you're going to lose your house, but they could save your life. And how often do you have an excuse to cram your family into a small enclosure with your loud, stinky neighbors? Thanks for watching, friends. Till next time, happy trails. Look at the size of that monster. Jesus.